What is up guys? It is Fishcraft here back here with another video and in this video we are at Lake of Egypt. I've been here in about two years. Um, we're going for bass. It's a good bass lake. And uh, I've been here since 2019. And uh, if you guys didn't know, we actually got a new motor. You saw it in the last video, but I didn't mention it. The Evernote is gone, and we now have a Suzuki. And this thing is sweet, man. But uh, today we are going for bass. Should be a pretty good time. Uh, this uh, lake is a power plant lake, but uh, the main portion of it, or the biggest portion of it, I believe, hasn't been running in a in a while, so. The water won't be uh, really warm, but we'll see how that will affect fishing. Usually, the warmer the water, uh, the better for these bass. But we'll see when we get out there. We got good conditions. We got some cloud cover. It's supposed to rain on us later, but it's beautiful out right now. We got some clouds moving in. We'll see how the day goes. Hopefully, uh, this lake usually produces a lot of numbers, so. Hopefully we can get on some casting, and obviously we'll, we're going to be uh, trolling some smooth plugs. Let's get some more. Let's do this. slower speed control today. Yeah. Skinny guy, yeah. He 
right. Feeding off the school shed. Just they're all this pretty much the size. It's just like one pound. Alright, let's get some more. Dad's got a fish on, we're reeling in. Oh, oh, that, um, that's the biggest one of the trip. You wanna Alright guys, first cast with a drop shot in the spot. Oh yeah. Nice probably 15 inch or not a bad one. It's not just the probably pound and a half instead of a pound, but good fight. Let's get it back. All right. It's like these fish want a slower speed control because yeah. that's the third one you got on the drop yeah, shot. Yeah, I'm just dragging, dragging the drop shot on the bottom. I mean, yeah, just a couple pops and that guy was there. Let's get some more. I got it, I'm recording. Fish up, fish on. Oh, it's not a bad one. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. Skinny. Not a bad one. Skinny guy, but he's real skinny. Yeah, yes. Let's get some more. I don't want Hooked up, folks. Looks like you slammed it. Yeah. Heck yeah. Not bad. I felt uh, the snag down there. I felt it wrap around the tree once or something. Whatever. Don't lose my worm. Don't lose my worm. Fat, chunky dude. I swear, drop shot is the most, tangles up the most. This guy's actually healthy. Jeez, nice belly. Not a bad fish. He's actually, he's actually healthy. Right. Back. There's a school out there. I'm marking a lot. Woo! I mean, by no means are these big bass, but man, they put up a good fight. That was on the drop. A little chunker. There's, let's go. That's how, yes, structure, that's how structure fishing does it. There he goes. I put him on a shaky head and he got all smallest bass of the trip. What are you doing out there? I don't want that on. Yeah, hey Derek. Er, well, now it's coming in. Hooked up, I got slammed. Oh, it's coming up. Is that coming up. Gonna jump. Hey. I crossed. Oh, we just crossed him. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. Okay. You want the net? No. Maybe it's not great. Well, they're slamming. Nice active fish. You guys can hear that plant going. Just uh, using this uh, DD22, great crankbait for trolling. Not a bad one. I thought it was thought it was bigger. Really got that trouble. My dad's hooked up. We just came off the bar. Is it a crappie? I think it's a crappie. What is it? Yeah, I told you it was a crappie. Did I tell oh you? Oh my gosh, that's a nice crappie. Get him I in. Hey, he's okay. In. He's okay. I told you it was a crappie. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Heck yeah. Surprise crappie. I've never caught one of these here. He, he looks healthy. Yeah. 
healthier than the bass. We might, have, we might have to do some crappie fishing now. That's a nice, healthy He hit right, up, right off the bar. He was just hanging off the bar. Sweet. My dad's hooked up. What a slow speed today. Tied on that shaky head for him. Feel decent? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, it's the biggest bass of the day. Both do it. It's not the biggest. Here, don't feel, don't feel, don't break my rod. Show it up to go. the camera. Go on the shaky head, slow speed yeah. control. That's just yep. a shaky head with a little finesse worm. He smacked it pretty good. All right, sweet, nice fish. Good up, folks. Oh, nice look, feels decent. And that drops out again. Yeah. You want a slow speed today? Yeah. Skinny, jeez, man. Oh, he looks sick. Yeah, they're really thin. Some of them are nice, though, but th look at that guy. I think it's lack of bait fish, forage. Look at that guy's skinny. Yeah, it's hooked up on the shaky head. Shortly after, I just had that really skinny guy. <sighs> A little one pounder. He smacked, smacked it pretty good, though. Yes, yeah, slow speed control today. That's Even though we got slow. the cloud cover, there was a front that moved through. All right, nice fish. All right, let's get some let's more. Get some more. Up. We're back out. Let's give an update here, though. We uh, we got absolutely pounded by storms. Out of not out of nowhere, but the forecast uh, called for like a 50% chance, and it absolutely downpoured on us. We had three, at least three, if not four, lightning strikes. It was literally over our head. Didn't Just the we? average size. Yeah, it was, it was bad. It was pouring. Lost a pair of sunglasses. Uh, but took a break. We got some uh, food at Triple E's. Greatly recommend that place. Great food. And uh, checked out a little lake crab orchard just for an hour. And then we're catching fish here, so might as well head back. It's, uh, Today is a fireworks day, so it's really crowded on the lake and crowded it's, everywhere. It's uh, so. almost 6 o'clock p.m. I imagine in another two hours, this place is going to be absolutely around here. We'll probably be fishing structures away from the dam. Yeah. We'll get away from here, but we'll fish the structures around here now until uh, it gets too crowded. Yeah. It gets more. All right, folks. Got another fish on. Same bar. It just hit right where it should be, right off the end of the bar. Just about about to go change spots, and I said, "Let's finish a little pass right here." And as soon as I got to the end of the bar, that fish hit. And so again, it's like, I mean, this is just another average size, man. Lake of Egypt. Yeah. We used to. This is small. I mean, in years past, they're like double the size, but I don't know if it's just the conditions, what it is, but or the fishery just has its ups and downs. Not a bad fish. Dad on a fish, probably another one pounder. Yeah, Casey was throwing off this bar, it's another bar now. There we go. Another skinny Lake of Egypt fish. Yeah, these the fish are very skinny. And I don't, I think the biggest one we got today, ow, might have been 16. Skinny little fish. Hooked up. We tried to get a fish on the cast and it just didn't work out. Well, this might be the nicest one of the day. Yeah. It looks healthy. I'm Compared picking up a lot of marks right oh, yeah. here. A lot of marks. Nice fish. That's might be a three. Yeah, just I this honesty, honestly, I mean, is probably the biggest bass we've caught all day out yeah. here. It was just really unusual for Lake of Egypt to begin so many small fish. Yeah. We'd spend couple years since we fished down here maybe this fishery's changed because he sort of seems a little healthy but a lot of them been so skinny nice fish He's probably 16 and a half maybe yeah. 17 yeah all right all right let's get some more